Welcome back to another Technical Tuesday. Today's stuff is going to be outside 3 2. Let's see if we can get some nice control going on by walking ourselves stage by stage through the step. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get all of our freshest content, and we're going to get cracking. In the beginning stages of learning three turns, focusing on a set of key shapes and linking actions helps build a clear chain of events for successful turns. Stroking onto outside edge, the shoulders gently rotate from outside to inside the circle. This is teamed with the neat closure of the free leg to form a floating T at the back of the skating foot in readiness to turn. Initiating the turn comes from the use of the blade rocker, gently pressing into the ball of the foot to free a fraction of the heel of the blade from the ice. Engaging the rocker is our cue to commence the twist action of the turn. Bend, push, rise to a floating T, rotating the shoulders, turn and maintain a check by drawing back the leading shoulder. Now let's check all the components of this turn in a warm-up sequence. Stand near the barrier if you prefer as we activate the blade rocker, shifting pressure from mid-blade to the ball of the foot while keeping the knees soft. As a progression, we can try this on stretched legs, but never with locked knees. Isolating our midsection, we can warm up the twists ready for the turn. Be sure to keep your shoulders still and level. Feeling control over our entry glide will help the turn to feel calm and pleasant. So, let's warm up the entry edge without the turn. As we bend and stroke, rise on the knee, close to a T and rotate the shoulders, we can hold and balance in this shape. And now it's time to make the exit glide our friend. So we'll start from backwards with a few pumps to gain some flow, and then gently raise the inner foot to find that T position. Double checking that the hips and shoulders stay level to optimize our balance. For skaters seeking the true feeling of mastery of a three-tone, we need to take it nice and slow and ensure that each moment occurs at your bidding. Ensuring our shapes are clean and clear will allow us to have maximum control at the point of the turn. When the three turning motions occur in quick succession. We hope this video helps you to refine your understanding and control of the three turn. If you hit like and subscribe, we'll delve a little deeper into three turn technique. We love to see your comments pop up in the comment section, so please keep them coming and we'll see you next time.